Every day, I will wear the full armor of God. I put on the belt of truth so I can fight the devil's lies. I put on the armor of godliness to protect my heart and do what's right. I put on the good news boots so I'll be ready to show God's love all day. I hold up the shield of faith to block anything the enemy sends my way. I put on the helmet of salvation so I'll remember God will always love me. I use the sword of the Spirit because God's word is my best weapon against the enemy. Now, I stand firm and pray. Stay up, stay up, stay up. Are you ready? I need everybody, and that means everybody. I don't care how old you are, how young you are. I need you to do it with us, okay? Are you ready? Let's make sure they hear us downstairs, okay? Are you ready? Even though you can't see it, there's a spiritual battle taking place between God and the devil over the heart of each person on earth. God has given everyone who believes in him a mighty set of armor that helps them defeat the attacks of the enemy. But that isn't all God has given his people. God wants them to understand that once the armor is on, they have to stand firm and pray. After the Israelites went to the land that God had promised them, they had to fight the evil armies of people who were living there. Joshua was the man in charge of leading God's people. He was a great leader and had already defeated armies in the cities of Jericho and Ai. Joshua had also made a pact with an important city named Gibeon. He promised that if they were ever under attack, his army would come and help them. Now the king of another city, Jerusalem, wanted to take over the city of Gibeon. But the king was afraid of Joshua and all that God had done through him. So that king went to several other cities and gathered their armies to form one large army to attack Gibeon. When they attacked, the people of Gibeon rushed a message to Joshua, begging him to come rescue them from the large army headed their way. Joshua gathered his army, including his best fighting men, and marched all night long to surprise the enemies. God threw the big army into a panic so that Joshua and his troops could defeat their enemies. The Israelites even chased after them to make sure no one escaped. Joshua was ready to finish the battle against his enemies, but he needed more daylight. Joshua knew that the most powerful thing he could do was pray. So Joshua prayed a really big prayer. He asked God to make the sun stand still over Gibeon and to make the moon stand still over the valley of Ijalon. God made the sun stand still and the moon stop until the Israelites had completely won the battle over their enemies. There has never been a day like this before or since. God was fighting for his people, and God is fighting for us too. When we pray, God will hear us. We should pray all kinds of prayers, because God wants us to pray and ask for his help whenever we need it. God also wants us to pray for others when they need his help. When we are facing trouble from the enemy, we can put on the armor of God, Stand firm and pray. How many of you guys think that God's way up there? Come on. How many of you think that God is way, way, way up there? And he's a long ways away. And so you have to, there's so many of us down here on earth, right? And you think, why would he listen to me? Why would he hear my voice? Why would, you know, I'm just, this little, right? I'm just a little kid. You can put your hands out. I'm just a little kid. Or I'm just an adult. Why would he listen to me? And you think and you realize that Jesus died for me. And because Jesus died for me, and because of salvation, and because I've asked Jesus into my heart, God is no longer up there. He is not some esoterical God that is just up in the space. Because of Jesus Christ, because Jesus died,
died for me. And because I made the decision to ask Jesus into my heart, he now resides in here. So you don't have to say, God, please hear me, hear me, hear me, like you're out way out there. Now, all I have to do is say, God, I need you. I got a family member that I love with all of my heart that's fighting for her life right now. And you know what he does? He answers me back. And in my heart, I know today I have peace. I have peace in my heart because I feel like God is telling me and showing me, I got this. Do I think God brought this virus? No, I do not. But do I think God will use this virus for his glory and heal people so that we will all see how good he is and to see his glory? Absolutely, he will. He will use it all for his glory. This has been a crazy year. Crazy, crazy year. And it seems to be getting crazier. How many of you guys are looking forward to school going back? Yes, right? It's been forever. Right? You're not. Most of you. I would say most of you. Teens. How many of you guys want to go back to school? Come on. I know. I know you guys have been missing your friends. You like to stay with your mom? Well, we, we homeschool anyway. And I love to homeschool. I don't know. We're not going to let me. We homeschool because we choose that, but we do that anyway. But um, I know you guys, uh, Sadie, I know, loves seeing her friends, and especially coming back to church, and you guys all get to see each other. It's a great thing. And I know school, they're working so hard to make sure everything's safe, just like we are here. You know, you may have to do things a little bit different than we're used to doing it um, at school. But if everybody does what they're supposed to do, then you guys are going to be safe. And, um, you know, everything's going to be good. So I want you to leave here today. I want you to remember the power of communicating with him, right? I don't have to do it in that walkie-talkie to hear him some way far, far away. It's like Mr. David had Sadie up here. And he stood right in front of her, and he was right here beside her. That's the way God is. 
right? I'm going to give you a chance if none of, if there's somebody in this room who hasn't asked Jesus into your heart. I'm going to give you that opportunity right now because through Jesus and only through Jesus do we have the ability to communicate and talk and ask for prayer and do those things with God. Right? And through so Jesus' sacrifice and his love for us that we've been given that ability to do that. Right? So with every head bowed and every eye closed, and that means everybody. If you would say to me, Pastor Sonia, I want that ability, every eye closed, every head bowed. I want that ability that you and Mr. David were talking about to have, to be able to talk to Jesus and to communicate with God. And I want to ask Jesus into my heart. I'd ask you right now to slip your hand up. Slip your hand up. Don't be ashamed or shy about it. Because look, let me tell you, this room, that's the good, that's, we're in here. This is why we're here. It's for us and for kids in here, right? It's for us, for Torch kids. So one more time, if you'd raise your hand. There you go. Now every eye closed, every head bowed. I want everybody to repeat after me because we are not in this room to uh, embarrass anybody or anything. So I need everybody to pray with me. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus we, love we love you. We thank you for your sacrifice. That we have the right and the ability through your sacrifice. Pray. pray. Lord, we believe. We believe. We believe, we believe that, you came, that you came and you died. And you, died. And you, rose, again, you rose again. Just for me. Yes. Say it again. Just for me. Yes. Lord, we ask you to forgive us. And to come into our hearts. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now I'm going to ask all of you guys. I put on the full armor of God. Stand strong against the evil one. I put on the full armor of God. The full armor of God. First things first. Got the belt of truth. Put on my boots, gotta tell the good news The armor of God and the shield of faith Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray Put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one Put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God First things first, you got the belt of truth. Put on my boots, I gotta tell the good news. The armor of God and the shield of faith. Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray. Put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. Put on full armor of God, the full armor of God. I put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. I put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. Now in faith we can stand, stand, stand against every evil plan, plan, plan. Now it's time to be strong, strong, strong. He has won. I put on the full armor of God, Against the evil one, I put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. I put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. I put